Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. Today we're going to talk about the five star gear plate carriers, and I got two different models to show you, so stay tuned. Okay guys, kind of what I'm going to do is run through the specs on this one and show you how to take it on and off and how easy to adjust that it is. Um, and then I'll do the same for the next one. And then I'll even take it and go another step further and load it out in some different ways so you could see that what may or may not be helpful for you. But the most important thing is that all the different ways that you could use these. Um, now, they are made out of 1200 denier nylon. Uh, five Star Gear is the brand, but that is made by TrueSpec. So if you know anything about TrueSpec gear, you know they have some really high quality stuff. And 1200 denier nylon is very heavy duty. Um, as you can see, it is covered front and back with Molly Webby. Also has uh, some hook and loop here and some on the back for all different kind of patches, depending on what you load out you want to be. Um, they will hold 10 and a quarter by 13 and a quarter inch plates. Um, and I gotta say they only come in two sizes one this one is from small to large and then they have like a extra large up to like 3x uh, so it's kind of a one-size-fits-all type of setup so let's just show you right here it's got very heavy-duty velcro this is where your front plate would go in on this one uh, it does have your slot here in the back for your back plate uh, as you can see here this does not hold a plate on the side but to take it on and off you have three velcro tabs that wrap under and what this does is pulls up and then you have a ways to adjust these and take it on and off a little faster and a little easier um, now I have seen people that kind of leave their setup for uh, it's sort of like a go bag or uh, crap hits the fan type of scenario. They leave the plates in it. They leave gear attached to it so they can just grab their kit and go. Um, so after you put those under, you're just going to wrap the little tabs back underneath and you're good to go. Uh, you do have to watch it. I have done this a couple of times. When you're uh, adjusting it, if this goes up a little bit too high, it does cause a little bit of a bulge in the material but for this one i mean i'm only 5'9 150 pounds so uh i'm definitely on the smaller size so it does need to be tightened in but as you can see here you have these molly straps right here those can be taken out and moved in if you need to go even smaller uh, uh talk, got these from jasmine's military shop and she has said that she has seen people that need to really tighten it up a lot but for me, like this kind of setup is working just fine. Uh, I mean, you can definitely feel that it's very heavy duty, very good quality. Um, and of course, there's gonna be a different ways to be able to load these things out. Uh, now, I'm gonna put the other one on in just a second. We'll get right back to the why we have two here. Right, now, as you can see, this one looks a, a lot different and it is a lot different in many ways. Uh, this one, in order to take it on and off and to adjust it, you, undo the snap that's right here pull up on this and then of course just like the last one you're going to uh, undo the velcro and tighten it or widen it depending on the size you need you know for you um, it does snap back it does have right here another velcro pouch where you could put stuff in here this is not for the plates um, but as you can see tons of molly does have your strip of hook and loop here for different types of patches but as you can see right here this has pockets for side plates now the front and back plate will be, can be up to uh, 10 and a quarter by 13 and a quarter like the last one and this will holds uh, six by eight inch uh, plates on the side as you can see here on the back plenty of molly uh, right here on the, the shoulder part this is a lot thicker and a lot more padded um, and of course, you know, more molly as you can see here. Uh, but the plates in this one go in a little different. They, they go in underneath on this side, which I'll show you more of that once I've uh, loaded it up with the different pouches and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any actual plates to put in it to see what it looks like with those in because plates are really expensive and 
I can't afford those right now. But at least you're gonna get the idea of how to load these things out and which may be better for you. So stay tuned, let's get these things loaded out and see what it looks like. All right, now this is the setup that has the side plate carriers. Um, and what I wanted to show you is that uh, this one is a little bit better suited for heavier loadout if you have uh, more stuff that you need to do, more capabilities you need to have with you. Like I have this set up with the trauma pouch right here, canteen here, obviously a triple mag carrier here, and then a uh, radio pouch, grenade pouch, and multi-tool. Um, it fits all of it on there perfectly. You could even do a bigger med kit on the back. Um, however you want to set these things up. I mean, there's you could strap stuff here. You could have a fixed blade. If you had a smaller one on one side or the other, you could have it tucked to the side. Um, but one of the things I also wanted to point out is that even though this is the hook and loop, it also acts as molly. So as you can see here, just taking that multi-tool and slide it in and out behind the Velcro. Uh, so yeah, even though you could put patches there, if you didn't need a patch, then you could also hook gear through it. Um, so as you can see here, I mean, this has got a lot of capabilities. Um, and I do like these shoulder pads a lot better than the others, but you even have Velcro here, little loops that is adjustable um, so that you could pop a flashlight, any other type of gear that you wanted to attach here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the capabilities is just incredible. Uh, now what I'm going to do is put the other one on and show you a, a different style of loadout that you could use with the other vest. All right, now as you can see with this one, everything's in a little bit tighter uh, just because it doesn't have the real estate to attach stuff right here at the very side as easily. I mean, you kind of can, but stuff is going to go more towards the back. Um, but as you can see here, I mean, you still got triple mag, carrier, canteen, radio pouch, multi-tool, and grenade pouch. Obviously for me, like usually this would be like backup gloves. Um, because obviously not in the military and I don't have grenades. Uh, but just the same as the last one, the hook and loop of the Velcro section also acts as the molly. So as you can see there, so that way you can still attach stuff if you uh, don't have a need for having a patch. Uh, on the back, I mean, obviously you can set these up. Other stuff, I've seen a lot of guys that like to put the rip away med pouches back there, um, which is a a very good way to go because it could free up you could add extra mags uh, if you got a hydration carrier you could use this for um, a whole number of other things like obviously it's not just going to be for a canteen you could use these for fire pouches uh, okay tender put food in it you know only limited by your uses and your imagination um, but just to give you an idea once again of the differences in the two no side plates so you do lose a little bit of real estate to attach stuff directly on the sides but there's plenty of stuff that you could do with uh you know with gear attached to the back um all right now i'm gonna take these off and then run through a couple of features and then we'll uh wrap this up all right so let's take the one look at the black one first that is does not have capability of having the side plates uh what you see right here on this right here this is leather and it is uh does have a slot behind it so that you can tuck the excess shoulder strap adjustment strap into it so it's not flopping around and obviously your straps here so that you can adjust uh, the width of the shoulders um, you do have a drag handle here on the back if you lift up this yeah, this is where your plate would go in for the back right now this part right here does not have the molly uh, in the hook and loop it is just for a patch so uh, especially if you were like SWAT or police or something like that you can put that back here uh, your identifiers but um, still plenty of molly back here and one of the things that I wanted to point out okay was the adjustments these are like the molly sticks that you can use you have to run those out right in order to be able to move this backwards or forwards depending on the width that you need um, but another thing to point out Let's go ahead and open this up. Is that when you open it up, as you can see here, this isn't, there's no mesh here um, or any padding. There's no padding on the shoulders, no padding on the front either. 
Uh, now, so this is going to make it lighter weight, but also not as breathable or not as padded, obviously, or soft against your body. Um, so, I mean, truly, this is really just going to be based on what your needs are as far as the, uh, let's just say, the mission that you're going to go on or whatever situation you feel the need to prepare for. Um, if you're the prepper type, right, then a lot of these will be good for keeping ready just in case the crap does hit the fan and you can decide, you know, you can just grab this, you keep it set up and you're ready to go. Uh, these are also awesome, I would put as this one right here, perfect for uh, paintballing, airsoft, that kind of stuff. So that way you can still have your loadout full of gear, um, but it's not as gonna be as bulky right and of course obviously you don't need side plates and paintball or uh, airsoft so uh, a little benefit so depending on what your needs are like I said now for this one when you as you can see right here this is very this is padded right here it does have mesh to make it a little more breathable the shoulder straps right they're very thick you've got adjustment buckles here for both of the shoulders so it's also easier to remove uh, you do have a drag handle you do have the hook and loop on the molly on the back so that is a, a big benefit there for being able to load out different types of stuff with more of the velcro loops on either side um, but these this kind right here even has the uh, buckles for this uh, adjusting on the side to make it a little tighter looser depending on what you need um, also, this is your Velcro patch for your side plate to go here. And for these, to add the plates or take them out, you're going to insert the plates in the, uh, underneath. And there is a Velcro loop that will help hold it in place. And then, of course, that's for added security. Uh, that was for the back plate, the front plate, basically the same thing sorry that velcro is really strong <laughs> and then of course here once again you have the area for the plate strap back in here to hold it in another velcro loop and then velcro is the second time so honestly all in all which carrier you need is all going to be based on what your uh, desires are. I mean, for me personally, this is more comfortable and it carries more capability. So that would be my first choice, even if I didn't run the side plates. Um, simply because you have more options with this front, back and side, right? So to me personally, that just seems like a, a better way to go for even most people. I like the way it adjusts. It's quicker, it's a little easier, um, and it's a lot more padded. For this one, I mean, yeah, it's lighter weight. Uh, it's gonna be, well, it's kind of hard to say if it's really gonna be cooler. Both are pretty hot, right? When you put these on, you're gonna notice the temperature difference during the winter. That's gonna keep you a lot warmer. In the summer, yeah, not so much. It's gonna be hot. But in this type of scenario where you're the type of person that needs plate carriers, uh, you're obviously know that going into it. Uh, but both of these are also awesome for firearms training classes. If you want to take, you know, your pistol classes, defensive carbine, defensive shotgun, any of these, these are perfect for that because you can load them out in so many different ways that they will meet any class needs that you have. And so all your training is covered by either one. Um, the only thing that's going to limit you on this one is the side. So if you're the type of person that likes to have the extra pouches directly on your side, you, you're not going to have that chance. But I don't know, personally speaking, you know, I just say I would go with the one with the side plates just because it's going to offer more capabilities. Now, they both only come in two colors, black and coyote, and they both only come in two sizes. Like I said in the beginning, goes from small to large is one size and then the extra large to like 3x is the second size um, 
All right, now hopefully this helps you. If you're type looking for plate carriers, hopefully this will help you decide uh, which type you may need. Uh, I got these from ja Jasmine's Military Shop, so definitely check her out. I'll leave the links below. Um, I do believe we have a coupon code in the works, so as soon as that is up or gets, uh, gets going, you know, we'll let you know. Um, and that way maybe we can save you a little bit of money some way. All right, guys. In the meantime, be prepared and have fun.